Joe here with the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to demo the Lyft Driver app. So here's what the app looks like when you first open it. Um, at the bottom there, you can see that little slider. Um, you can see that prime time is in, in effect. It's uh, 10 to 25 percent. Um, you can see it's basically downtown. If you zoom out, you can see that that's where the prime time is currently. Um, and if you slide that toggle, that that slider up, you can also see uh, the current day's demand. You can see if you have a ride challenge, you can see what your progress that. If you select that, you can actually see your progress. So I've already completed the $65 ride challenge this week, and I have 57 rides for the week. And if I complete eight more rides, I'll get another $38 bonus. Close out of that. You can also see here that there's a streak bonus available today. If I select that, I can see that uh, I have a $25 streak bonus available uh, from 3.15 to 4.15 in the afternoon. Close out of there. Also here, if I want to see the full schedule for the week, I can select see full schedule. So here's today's demand. If I slide it, slide it up, you can see what Thursday's demand is going to look like. You can also see the streak bonuses that are available. You can also see Friday's demand. And if you keep scrolling, you can actually see the demand into next week. We'll go back to the top. We'll go back. All right, now if you slide this slider down, you'll be back to the home screen. Um, from here, you have a few options. We'll go through the icons on the bottom first. Um, so the, the car icon is basically where you see the map. Now if you select the dollar icon, you can see your earnings for the week. You can use Express Pay from here if you'd like. So if you press that cash out button, you can cash out at any time. You just have to pay a 50 cent fee. From here, you can also see your payout history if you'd like. Um, if we scroll down, you can see that today I've completed five rides. I was online for two hours and eight minutes and I received one tip. I also received a street bonus of $25 and I completed my 55 ride challenge this morning and received that bonus of $65. From here you can also select see all activity and you can see all of your rides for the week on here. We'll go back. You can also set a weekly goal here if you want and at the bottom here you can see your progress on your weekly ride challenge if you have one of those. Alright now we'll toggle over to the messages icon. Um, here you can see scheduled pickups so if we select view available pickups there are quite a few scheduled pickups available and if you want to claim a scheduled pickup you'll just select view details and you select confirm pickup and now if I go back we'll see that within my pickups I've added a pickup um, we'll get that pickup out of there actually we'll cancel it back to available pickups alright we'll go back again now we're back to the messages screen you'll see this top message uh, earn more with these updates you can scroll down you can see your monthly accelerate there's a monthly accelerate update here. There's also a message about referring drivers where you can get $400 for referring drivers. There's another message here about a Lyft hub that recently opened here in the Twin Cities. So we'll scroll back to the top. And if we select the far right icon at the bottom there, this is the referral icon. Basically you can refer drivers and passengers to Lyft from here. All right, we'll go back to the home screen by selecting that far left car icon. Now if you select your picture in the top left there, you have a few options here as well. Um, you can view your dashboard from here, so we'll select that and view the dashboard. There's your driver dashboard, we'll close out of this, select the picture icon again. Um, from here you can look at scheduled pickups as well. We'll go back by selecting those three dots on the top left there. Here you can also view your vehicle, we'll go back. Here you can also view and edit your documents, for both your personal and vehicle documents. There's also a navigation option. Here you can select your navigation. It's automatically set to Lyft navigation built with Google Maps, but you could also choose Waze or the separate Google Maps app. We'll go back. And you also have some audio settings options here. There's also the help section. In this section you can get help with previous rides if you need help with a ride. You can, there's also some other help topics that you can take a look at. There's also this payment info tab where you can set up express pay. You can take a look at your weekly payouts. There's also this AMP tab and I'll grab my AMP and uh, connect it. So my AMP is now connected. This is a really cool section where you can learn about your AMP and how to use it. And there's also the settings tab. 
here you can edit your profile you can edit your email address phone number shipping address navigation um, if you want a high earnings alert if there's high earnings available you can toggle this on and have that sent you can also set your accessibility options here you can set your privacy options here there's a couple other links at the bottom and you can also log out of the app from here all right let's go back to the home screen and another thing on this home screen you can do is if you zoom out a little bit you can view the airport queue so there's there's the MSP airport um, if we select that we can see that the wait is up to 23 minutes we can also choose to navigate to the airport if we want to close out of there and destination mode now if you want to enter destination mode you just select that top right search icon and you can save some custom addresses so I've saved my home and work addresses and I've also added a custom shortcut to Home Depot you can also add other custom shortcuts here if you'd like and if you want to enter destination mode just select one of those destinations and we're now logged in and in destination mode we'll log out all right and now we'll demo a ride request so I'm already actually logged into driver mode here but in order to log into driver mode you'll just toggle over that top middle um, steering wheel icon all right, so we've received a request. Um, we can see that this passenger is five minutes away. So we'll tap to accept that ride. And I have auto navigation turned on. So as soon as I accept the ride, the driver app will automatically start navigating me towards the passenger. And at any point in time, if I want to exit navigation, I just press that exit button at the bottom right there. And I can see information here like the address and the name of the passenger. Also, you can see that little yellow guy, and that little yellow guy is the actual GPS location of your passenger. This is basically showing exactly where their phone is located. Sometimes if you arrive at a location and say it's a mall or something, it's nice to see that little yellow guy because then you may know exactly which entrance your passenger is at. You can also get that info by selecting that, that bottom left icon with the profile picture. If this person did have a profile picture, it would show up right here. And there you see the name of the passenger and the address. Also, if you select that top right down arrow, you have a few options. So here it, it, can, it gives you the option to call your passenger. You can also turn on last ride here. You can look at the way bill if you'd like. You can cancel the ride here. And you can also select emergency assistance if you need that. We'll tap the up arrow. And also, if you would like for this particular ride to be your last ride, you can just toggle over that steering wheel icon while you're navigating to a passenger. It will confirm that you want to sign off after completing your last ride. We'll toggle that back on. Alright, so we've navigated to the passenger's pickup location. And when you do arrive, the app will automatically exit you out of navigation. You'll select tap to arrive. You'll confirm your arrival. And now you're able to see the destination address. So if you want to see that, you just select that list icon with the profile picture again. There we can see the destination address. We'll close that out. Also with Lyft, um, if you pinch out when you've arrived at someone's pickup location, you can actually see the recommended route to get to a passenger's destination. This gives you an idea as to where you're headed. Once the passenger gets in, you'll just select pick up. And again, I have auto nav on, so once I select that, then the, the app will start automatically navigating me to the passenger's drop off location. Also, if there's ever a time where you want to see the route overview, you just select that bottom left icon. Then you can see the different available routes and what route you're taking. In order to get back to navigation, you'll just select that recenter button. All right, in queued rides, it looks like we just had a rider added to our queue. Um, and Lyft will automatically add these rides to your queue. And if you ever want to see specific information about that ride while you're in your previous ride, you can just select the profile picture on the bottom left there of that passenger. You can just see their address here, but it would also be nice to see the general area that this passenger is located in. I've gotten plenty of these queued rides where they've been too far away and then I'll just, I'll just decline them. And if you ever do want to decline them, you do it right here. You just press the decline button. All right, and once you arrive at your passenger's destination, the navigation will automatically stop. You select drop off, confirm. And if you do want to rate a passenger with Lyft, you actually have 24 hours after a ride has ended. But if you want to do it right away, you just select that bottom right star icon. We'll just let that expire for this one. 
and you can go back and rate a passenger um, from the home screen by selecting the dollar icon scroll down and select the ride that we want to rate so I'll rate this passenger sometimes I like to go back and rate my passengers that have tipped I like to thank them for tipping select rate passengers and here you can comment with the rating and that passenger has now been rated and that's it. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and drive safe. Thanks.